Serving Sumter residents for a good cause. The Terror Trail at Second Mill Pond donates all of their proceeds to local organizations. News 19's Sam Perez has more. It's just naturally that dark and creepy in there. Brian Davis is the coordinator of Terror Trails in Sumter. He spends every fall perfecting the mile-long haunted trail in time for his favorite holiday, Halloween. When I was in the military, I, I was always deployed away from family during Thanksgiving and Christmas and everything else. So Halloween was just something to really grab hold of and have a good time. He has that good time by scaring people who come out to the trail each night. The tickets are $15 and 100% of the proceeds go to local groups and nonprofits. The Elks care, Elks share, and that, that's our motto. Harold Butler runs the Sumter Elk Lodge, a nonprofit that supports community members through scholarships, providing respite care for Alzheimer's patients, and helping veterans. All the money that's raised as far as what the Elks get out of the uh, share of it goes to our local community. An Eagle Scout himself, Davis also donates proceeds to the local Boy Scout Troop 342 to help pay for uniforms and camping trips. Scoutmaster Neil Oakton says the boys come out on the trail to dress up and scare visitors. So having events like this that they can directly contribute to and be a part of, I think, is huge for them. Scaring and caring for the community. For Street Squad Sumter, I'm Sam Perez. The trail is open tonight through Monday starting at 730. It runs until... The last person leaves.